Hey guys, this is Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Minecraft server public in a couple easy steps. Stay tuned guys so I can show you how to do that. And before we jump into that guys, what we're using today is the Dell PowerEdge R720XD. And I'm only really using uh, seven bays right now. This thing holds 23 bays, plus uh, two more on the inside. And you can add additional uh, PCIe to SAT or SATA uh, ports on the inside. So this thing is gonna be a beast. Um, right now, we really don't need that much data. We haven't really done much with it. In the upcoming video after this one, we're gonna be going into uh, Plex and how to turn this into a nice media server for you and all your family members, which is also gonna be uh, making the server a little bit more easy to access and setting up a static IP address. And the one down here, <laughs> I haven't even touched this one yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna be putting this one up for a viewer um, in one of the upcoming videos as a pretty much a prize um, for subscribing and commenting. So this will be a nice starter server for someone that wants to get into this stuff. And the cool thing is I'll give it away for free. Okay, without further ado guys, let's jump into this video and I'll show you what we'll be doing today to make our Minecraft server public. Okay guys, so this process is actually pretty easy and you can actually do it for free. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna show you the server we've been working with and I'm gonna actually keep this where y'all can play on it as well. Um, so y'all can mod the server. Uh, again, I was making this for y'all guys, my ghosties. So y'all can turn the server into anything you really want to. Um, so this is the one we're using right now. You can see that there's low ping, everything looks good. And um, here's a server address right here. Y'all can't even access this if y'all wanted to. Um, this is a local server address. The only way you can access this is if you're on my network, either plugged into the ethernet or on the Wi-Fi. Um, so since uh, we're gonna turn this one right here into um, a really cool public server so everyone can use, again, I'm gonna show you what type of mods I put on here. So if y'all do want to access it, when you do, you're gonna get some cool mods, especially if your PC has like ray tracing, this will be a great benefit for you. And look at this beautiful world, guys. Again, in the last video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little card on top to show you how you can actually make your Minecraft server look beautiful. I mean, look at this, guys. I have been doing quite a bit right here. As you see, uh, I've been mining, making my own world. I'm in my own village now. I have cows and all that good stuff. Um, so please don't kill my stuff. Um, you will be booted from the server if you do that. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make this public right now. It's not public, so like I was saying a little while ago, the only people that can access this are people on my local network. Um, so the cool thing about this process, it's very easy to do. We're going to use it. We're going to use a service called uh, play.itgg, and uh, we'll go from there. So um, we're going to go ahead and exit the game and go on to that service now. They have a, a paid version and a free version. We're gonna go ahead and do everything free for now. Uh, I don't really need anything fancy. So I'll go ahead and jump into that now. Okay guys, so now all you really have to do is type into uh, whatever browser you're using. I like Google Chrome. I go ahead and type in playit.gg Minecraft and this little guy right here will pop up. Uh, keep in mind they do have a free version of this which we're gonna go ahead and do right now. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and download this. If you see right here, it says, forget hosting providers, use your own computer for free. And that's exactly what we want to do. Um, Playit.gg is a global proxy that allows anyone to host a server without port forwarding. Um, sometimes when you port forward, uh, you can actually put your own server at risk and you might be at risk for like getting DDoSed and stuff like that, which is never fun. Um, so what they do is actually use a tunneling service. So even if they attacked it, it's really not attacking you directly because you're tunneling into the playit.gg uh, servers. Um, so the only server that, uh, the only server needs to run the program not uh, for every player. So uh, here's a way it looks like. Um, here's your computer. 
your other uh, your players and play it cloud. So you can see it's not attacking directly to your computer, uh, which is really good for safety. Um, they actually go through play it cloud and then to your computer. So it's tunneling. Um, you can see that there is uh, a a play it premium three dollars a month or thirty dollars a year which is really not that bad um, so you can see right here number of TPC ports most player only require a single port if you're hosting Minecraft Java and we're doing a Minecraft bedrock um, but it's same same idea you can host four servers for free or unlimited if you add um, Bunner core so right here you can see we we really only need one port a uh, number of UDP ports, different games require different networking protocols with UDP support. Almost every type of game works with Play It, which is really cool. So um, what we're looking for right here is the most important thing, Minecraft Bedrock servers. For instance, with UDP supports makes it possible to host your own Minecraft server, which, which we're trying to do right now. Again, you can do four servers right here, um, which is great. Number of firewalls. Firewalls are powerful features to block unwanted access to your server. Have someone you want to block or a small group you want to limit access to. Firewalls make this happen. It's like I was saying when we first started playing in the beginning of the video, that if you do not follow the rules, um, primarily you will get booted. And this is what helps with the firewall right here. So that works out pretty good there. And then Max, firewall rules if you need to block or allow lots of IP addresses you may need more firewall rules so right here we only have six which is fine um, but you can see when you do get that three month which is very very cheap guys if you really wanted to maybe make a pro uh, per profit type of server you can definitely do that with play it and you don't really need the technical know-how and especially if you're making uh, skins and all that other stuff you'll make the three dollars back pretty fast and a number of assignable agents are you hosting servers on multiple physical computers assign agents lets you assign which server is responsible for which tunnel so you can do two and you can see with the paid one you get ten number of dedicated IPv6 addresses if you're on a IPC Six network. Uh, this gives you a ton of power. You can use uh, any or over. You can use any or all your 6,500 public ports on this IP address zero. So we don't get access to that. We're not using IP six, um, so we don't have to worry about that. And then external domains. Do you have the domain you already own? You can assign it to your tunnel and create a sub uh, domain, which we don't have. Uh, for our channel yet, but maybe down the road we can make it a little bit more um, professional. But as you see right there, it's actually works out very good. Um, right now, we're just going to do a free account, but you can see custom domains and how much that cost uh, $1 a month or $6 a year. So everything is very, very affordable here. So we're going to get started right here and just hit this download. So keep in mind, you do have to have your computer on. Um, for people to access your server. Um, that's one of the uh, downfalls of this. But you can also make yourself a virtual machine on your um, free NAS scale um, server, which we'll do later on. Right now I'm just gonna get you into it. Um, most of y'all probably just want your local friends to play with you anyways that are probably uh, in your town. And the bad part is they won't be able to access your server if your computer's off. Um, so just keep that in mind that the computer you download this to needs to be on. Um, we'll do another follow-up video on how to make a virtual computer uh, on your server that will stay on as long as your server is on. And uh, that gives them access to your um, Minecraft server, which is probably important. So let's go ahead and hit download now. You can see Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and plugins. Um, this right here we'll do uh, again later on when we go into more plugins for Minecraft but we're trying to make this as easy as possible so we're gonna go ahead and install this right here if you have a 64-bit computer most computers are unless you're on an ancient computer but we'll go ahead and do that and it downloads pretty fast go ahead and log in over here and you just follow the prompts everything's fine all the uh, prompts right there are perfect 
And now that it should be popping up in the background. Okay guys, so now that we got that downloaded, we're gonna jump into making an account. So we're gonna go to login. Um, we're gonna go to create an account. You can make an account, but since we're just kind of doing this um, for a tutorial reason, we're gonna go to use guest account right here. And we're gonna go to set up a new agent. And we already have that downloaded, so we're gonna make it run. So we're gonna just go to, you can type in playit.gg. I already put that, so you'll start seeing it's setting stuff up, uh, visit link to set up. So now we have that running, we can hit yes, it's running. And it's checking for it, so you can actually see right here. And it's checking. We can also enter it here. So this will be our code right back this way here. So we can just copy that over and paste that. And now it's gonna connect. Okay, so you can actually see the secret code is connecting, starting up and running. So primarily you don't even need to make an account to get this up and running. You can see right here it says add a tunnel and now we're going to go to create a tunnel. So for the free account it has to be a global setup and then we're going to go to Minecraft Bedrock and we're going to add a tunnel. So this is where the address will come in handy so we're going to keep this up right here and we're going to go ahead and find that address um, that we're going to go ahead and enable. So this is what we need to update right here. This is just a random address. So we're gonna jump right back into Minecraft Bedrock so you can see, show you where to find that at. So we're gonna go to launch that now. What a beautiful intro. And the cool thing right now is they're giving away the free Superman skin, which is always cool to get free skins. Saves yourself a couple dollars. And you can see my Superman right there. So we're gonna go to play servers and again they're uh, already this is the fourth video already on how to make your server so if you need those just go back on the playlist and I'll show you where those are at so this is what we need to write down right here this will be the server address and port so we can go ahead and get back over here so right here where it says local address we're gonna go ahead and put uh, the one we just saw right there. So for my local address, it's going to be nine or one nine two one six eight one four nine. The cool thing is this is all free, and then port's going to be one nine two zero zero. Again, this is, we we created all this a little while ago, um, a couple videos back. So if you don't know what this is, just go down the playlist and start from one and work your way back up because this will get you up and running on how to make your own uh, Minecraft server. Okay, so now that it is updated right there, we should be getting some information up here. So this is what we're gonna actually type in to our, uh, our Minecraft server. Or this is what you're gonna have your friends uh, actually type in. So um, let's see here, you should be able to see this pop up over here as well. So this is what we're gonna type in right here where it says tunnel, this whole thing. So it's gonna be man-couple.gl.at.ply.gg, and this is the port number right here. So keep in mind, you do have to keep the playit.gg app running on the computer for this to work. Don't exit off of that. We can go to close this down and go back into the game. So uh, again, so now you can access it from a computer off the network. So we're gonna go to add and we can name this whatever we want to. I'm just gonna call this ghost world uh, public access. Again, this is just for the video. You can name this whatever you want, but if you do want access to my server, uh, this will be the address you wanna put in here. 
So now we're making it public for free and a couple easy steps, which is very, very cool. And it's not very, very technical either. Um, it's, it's actually pretty easy to do. So that port number will be that last one right there. It's going to be 11837. And now we should be able to access it. Again, just kind of look over everything. See, I did mess up over here. This should be a dash. So to give us a uh, non-connecting code. So just look everything over one last time. Again, you can do the same thing. Mine is man-couple.gl.at.ply.gg. And the port number is 11837. So guys, if you want to have access to this, you can as well. Just type that into your computer and you can have access to our Ghost World server. And let's see how it runs. So now we're running from a whole different thing. We're running from the cloud primarily. Or we're tunneling, tunneling into this thing. So you can see it's still nighttime. I'm gonna close these doors. Um, let me connect my controller. <laughs> Let's see if I get killed right now, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to go to sleep and wake up and uh, overall everything's looking really nice. We're running very smooth. And we're gonna let those monsters die. But over, overall guys, this was a pretty easy thing to do. And if you follow the steps I gave you, you can have a public Minecraft server, which is really, really cool guys. You can have all your friends from around the world play on this. And the cool thing is, it's free and very, very easy to do. So just go through the steps, guys, and shout out to playit.gg. Y'all guys are amazing. Um, I don't have an affiliate with them. Uh, I wish I was an affiliate for them because, man, they are awesome. Look at this, guys. We're tunneling into my server, and it's running very, very smooth. Anyways, guys, hopefully you liked this video. I'm sorry it took me so long to bring this out. I've been working on uh, other computers and whatnot. I do have a shop. So they do keep me busy working on all different things from MacBooks to Dells to servers. Anyways, guys, if you like this, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification icon. That does help my channel out quite a bit. We do one video a week, so um, let me know what you want me to post. Again, the next video will be uh, another Minecraft video on the server. And then after that, we're going to go into Plex, which is also very cool, guys. You can make your own Netflix on your own server. Uh, as long as you have your DVDs or Blu-rays, you can put your content out there for others to use. As always, guys, I had a great time today, and I'll see you on the next video. Ghost57 out. Bye-bye for now, friends. See you all soon.